If you've cleaned everything down properly, sanitising is a pretty simple step. By sanitising, I don't mean sterilisation, which uh, at the homebrew level is, is impossible. What I mean is that you're going to kill the 99.9% .9 of the bugs, uh, the microbes, the wild yeast. You're going to give uh, your yeast the opportunity to take hold and, and really dominate the flavour profile. So once you've cleaned everything up with PPW, you've got a nice clean area, you've got rid of a lot of the grime and, uh, and dirt and whatever is around. Next thing you need to do is kill all the bugs that are still there. Another product I really recommend is Star Sand. This is a, a foaming no rinse sanitizer. Uh, these sort of products are great because you can spray your clean fermenter and, and bits and pieces. It just means you don't need to rinse it off with water again, which in turn can, can hold some microbes and, and things that would cause infections. Today we're going to use just a syringe to measure out 1.5 millilitres for two litres or, or half a gallon. I'm going to put this in a spray bottle just like this one. These things are great for home brewing. You can pump them up. Uh, you've got pressure in there. All you need to do is press the button. Something like this is going to make your life a lot easier rather than just a, an all pump bottle. Once you've sprayed everything, that's going to come in contact with your beer or around it, like the bench tops and your gloves and the bits and pieces and your fermenter. Sit everything to drain. Uh, sit your fermenter upside down in a bowl or similar. Sit all your bits and pieces on a clean and sanitised plate. So by using something like star sand, you'll be able to take down all the, the bugs and microbes to a level where they're not going to worry you.